Hello everybody, this is Jay Universe back for another Dinosaur King video and yes it's finally time for me to announce which mini tournament I'm doing next because yes I'm back to doing that so there was a voting poll and thanks to everyone who voted and it was quite a tight one, well between two in particular but the winner was, well is, the Wicked Win Tournament. So yes we are going to have a Wicked Win Tournament with all these lovely wind dinosaurs. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go through the combat and then we're gonna do the placements right here. So it's gonna be 24 teams, knockout format, and then top three will go into this group and duke it out for the crown. So it'll be like the water washout tournament. For those of you that are new to this, I would recommend checking out previous mini tournaments, Secret Showdown, Water Washout, King of Fires, just to see how this tournament will work. For those of you that are new, and yes, I will probably pin it up there somewhere I don't know. But yeah, enough blabbering. Let's get on with the teams. So yes, here's all the teams I've decided to have. And I hope some of you... Can... I have tried to be a bit strategic with these teams. So hopefully, like, when I, when my next tournament comes, you know, some people can get inspiration and ideas from these tournaments. And that's what I like to do. So yeah, okay, up first, well, we got to have the Carnotaurus. Uh, this Carnotaurus is Crisis type. And I've put it... Given it Final Fury and, well, Net Crusher and Ninja Attack because it has a strong crit. And it'd be a waste not to have Ninja Attack. And then, well, we got everyone's favourite fake Dromeosaurid, the Mega Raptor. This one, I've gone with Lethal type, and well, because of how strong the Mega Raptor's crit is, you've got to have Mayfly. And then Smiling Burger for the recoveriness, and Kamikaze Tackle because I can. And then we have the Dinosaur, which I think has the strongest crit in the game, the Allosaurus Atrox. Although I think the Mega Raptor's crit with Lethal type might actually be stronger. But in terms of like base crits without ignoring the battle types, I think Allosaurus Atrox does have the strongest crit. Anyway, well, again, as I said, it's a complete waste to not have Biting Wind. Actually, no, I find interesting is that all the gold wind dinosaurs have strong crits. I find that really interesting. You know, you look at the fire dinosaurs, for example, T-Rex has a strong crit, but Mapusaurus is very balanced and, well, Sorophagonax is super attack type, so... It does have a strong crit, but, you know, his other two moves pack a punch as well. But so Sorophagonax, I'd probably say, is more balanced. And Eocarcaria is extremely balanced. I find that interesting. All the wind dinosaurs have very strong crits, but anyway, attack boost, because why in the hell not, and light recovery for light recovery. And yes... Okay, up, up next we have the Uteraptor. I've gone with a Blunder type one. And I've added Dino Illusion, Move Breaker, and Anhangera Dive. Uteraptor, quite a popular dinosaur in my tournament. And quite a popular di wind dinosaur in general. So I'm sure a lot of you will be rooting for it. Uh, Majungasaurus with Tail Smash, Romeo Rush, and Hurricane Beat. Not much to say here. And then moving on to our bronzes, we have Ceratosaurus. And we have a lot of bronzes. We have four bronzes, Ceratosaurus, the Delta Dromius, which is actually one of my favourites. I love that. I love the design for Delta Dromius. I've said it before and I, I just love it. And maybe I'll make it for Jurassic World Evolution, hint hint. Uh, a Frovenator. Again, I, I love a Frovenator as well. I, I think the design for all most of the wind dinosaurs are really good. With a bit of Tornado Toss, because I do try to use moves that so these di if these dinosaurs featured in the anime, I'll try to use moves that they used. For example, the Afrovenator used Tornado Toss, so I give it Tornado. Uh, Rugops, and this Rugops is interesting because it's tie defense type, so I synergized it with tie attack, and then I gave it Stun Dash, because, you know, I want a diverse set of moves in the tournament. I don't want the same moves over and over. I mean, the super moves are different because there's not as many, but normal moves, you know, there's plenty for me to choose from. And then Hurricane Beat, utilizing Rugops' powerful crit. Okay, moving down to 1400 strength dinos, we have the Neo Venator, the attack type one I've gone with. And yeah, very attack minded this guy, so it might be one might be one to watch in the tournament. And then we have the normal Allosaurus, the Fragilus one. Again, not much to say here. Used Mayfly because Allosaurus used it in the anime. A Sinraptor. This Sinraptor is quite resilient because it, it's defense type and it has defense boost and recovery, so could be a health tank this beast and then Indosuchus one of the more obscure wind dinosaurs in the in the franchise and quite a wild card because I don't really know much about it and don't really know what it can do so I am looking forward to seeing Indosuchus okay as for 1200 strength dinos we have a Monolophosaurus uh, again mono this mono is defensive type I'll be interested to see how elemental power fares in this tournament and while well, Archaeopteryx charm is a bit uh, but again, I wanted to have it because I didn't want to have just recovery again. And Dino Illusion is always useful. Uh, next up, we have Fukui Raptor. 
This Fukui Raptor is Tide type, so I've gone for Tide based moves here with Tide Breaker and Sonic Blast. Could that be effective in this tournament? We'll just have to see. Uh, you strip the Spondylus. Uh, not much to say here. Quite an attack minded moveset I've gone with here. Uh, the Poison Boy, Pianitsky Saurus, again, is, is an attack minded moveset. Quick damage, chipping away with the Poison type. I think Pianitsky Saurus could be, again, wonder what. Okay, moving down to our Thousand Strength Dinos, we have the Dilophosaurus. Again, this Dilophosaurus could be deadly because it is counter type. And. I don't know how strong its crit is, but that Hurricane Beat could definitely do some damage because it does get triggered after a loss. Okay, Lillian Sternus. Again, not much to say here. Gone for more attacking, attack minded moves for these guys because they kind of need that punt to stand to fight back against the, the stronger dinos up here. Uh, Gojurasaurus. Again, that. Uh, it's kind of repetitive, but Gojurasaurus is charge type, so. I, I wanted to have it. And we'll see how the Gojura Blizzard fares. Okay, we've got some, a few more over here. So we got Sheshwang Shwarash. Um, not much to say here. And then obviously we got to have Ace and we got to have Cyclone. And well, Ace did use Buying Wind once. I mean, I was going to use Mayfly or something, but the thing with Ace is that all the wind moves he seems to use are scissors. Well, except for Sonic Blast, which he does use a couple of times, which I could have put in actually. Oh, I could have done that. Oh, well, I'm going to stick with that. Um, and then we have some Alpha Dinos, the Alpha Allosaurus. And we got to have some Alpha moves with there to go. So Dino Stuffer and Banana Surprise. And then down here we have the Alpha Dilo with Alpha Dart. Dice and Alpha Dart. So Alpha Dilo could be fun to play. And yes, that is all our combatants. So now it's finally time to put all these buggers in with these buggers. So these will be randomly drawn. So be for those of you that, that knew. It will be 1 to 12 going from left to right up here. And then 13 to 24 again left to right. So let's get on with it. Uh, at first we have, ooh, number 20. Who is that? Ooh, the Gojurasaurus. So Gojurasaurus is going to be in the first match. Now his opponent shall be number 8. Ooh, it's going up against a Frozen 8. Oh, that's not good because... They're two of my more favourite wind dinosaurs, these two. So we have Gojurasaurus taking on a Frovenator. Okay, number 18. Ooh, that's Dilophosaurus. And Dilophosaurus' opponent shall be... Number 9. And I know that that is Rugops. Ooh, a clash of the scissors there. Alright, up next we shall do number... Uh, okay. Reduce it to 20 so we don't have repeats. Okay, number 13. So that is... Ooh, the Fukui Raptor. So we have Fukui Raptor taking on... Oh, number 12. That is... Ooh, that could be a good match. The Monolophosaurus. That could be interesting. Okay, drop that down to 18. Okay, number 8. Oh, Neovenator. Well, we haven't had anything up here yet. That's interesting. So Neovenator versus... Oh, oh, here we go. The Carnotaurus. We finally got our first gold of the tournament. Ooh, that could be a tough bracket for these guys. You got Carnotaurus. And if 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 my mini tournaments are any my previous mini tournaments are anything to go by, Carnotaurus has a good chance to win. Oh, oh, here's another gold. Allosaurus Atrox. Because I think yeah, a gold dinosaur has won every tournament. I mean, well, the Secret Showdown is kind of an exception because they're all gold dinosaurs. But Water Washout and um, King of Fires, yeah, Makusaurus and Spino one. Okay, that's number three. Ooh. Ooh, that's Allosaurus Atrox taking on Majungasaurus. Finally getting some heavy hitters. Okay, 14 left and that. Ooh, ooh I think that's Mega Raptor. Oh, what a bracket that could be up there. Mega Raptor and an Allosaurus Atrox. And that means these guys will also avoid facing any golds, which is interesting. But anyway, Mega Raptor and his opponent shall be number 10. So that is one. Ooh, not a good match for the Sejuangosaurus as it takes on the Mega Raptor. Ooh, that's going to be tough for Sejuang. Sejuang Okay, that's number two. That is Ceratosaurus. Again, quite a popular dinosaur. And Based on last year, was definitely the year of the Cerato. 
You know, you added it to Primal Carnage Extinction. You did other stuff with it. Number seven. Ooh, yes. That could be an interesting match. The Ceratosaurus taking on Piantnitskisaurus. How interesting. Oh, hang on, I forgot to do this. Okay, number... Oh, it's number two anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's one of my favourite wind dinosaurs. The Deltadromius. Even though the Deltadromius might not actually be an actual dinosaur. But it's, it's, in, it's in Dinosaur King, so deal with it. Oh, number one. Ooh. That's the Euteraptor. Oh, it's an interesting bracket we got here. So we got Euteraptor, Deltadromius, Ceratosaurus, and Rugops, and a Wow, we got all the bronze dinosaurs in this category. How interesting is that? Okay, we've got eight more to group. So, that's number five, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Lillian Stunas. Wow, this might actually be a really good group for the Carno. And their opponent is number eight. Then again, maybe not, because that is the Alpha Allosaurus. Okay, six more to go. Number four, that is one, two, three. Oh, you stripped the Spondylus. So you stripped the Spondylus, will be going into here. And they shall take on number two. Ooh, the Sign Raptor. Okay, so the four we have left to categorize are the Allosaurus Fragilus, Indosuchus, Ace, and the Alpha Dilophosaurus. So... Let's find out who plays each other. Okay, that's number three, so that should be Ace. Yeah, that's Ace is... Oh, what a tough category this could be. And Ace's opponent shall be number two. That is the Indosuchus. So Ace will be taking on the Indosuchus in the first round. That also leaves the Allosaurus to take on the, Dilophos the Alpha Dilophosaurus. So see which one gets the home type and that will be the Alpha Dilophosaurus. So Alpha Dilophosaurus against Allosaurus Fragilus. Ooh, this could be an in interesting matchups here. Okay, let's have a let's have a broad look at the format here. This one definitely seems the toughest format because you've got Mega Raptor, Atrox, Ace, and well the Alpha Dilo could put up a fight and you know don't underestimate these guys. That's definitely a really tough bracket. Uh, as for the middle one, well, the Karno would probably definitely be the favourite in this bracket, and I probably wouldn't be surprised if it was Karno against Alpha Allosaurus in this matchup here. But you never know, you never know, you know. We saw Simo Tyrannus in the fire tournament get pretty far, and, well, yeah, well, he's gone further than far, he made the top three, that's how well it did. I mean, the water washout one was, mm, you know, you had Brontokins, I think it was Brontokins, Spinotector and the Spino, so wasn't too much, wasn't too much room in the way of surprises. But this tournament definitely, I think, we could see some surprises. And well, put it this way, one of these two is going to get knocked out, so the top three won't consist of these three. I mean, it could consist of Carno and then one of these. And then this bracket is definitely interesting because, well, it probably maybe the Uteraptor might be the favourite slight favorite but then you've got all these bruising bronzes and you have the piantnitsky saurus as well so this bracket is definitely wide open and yeah that's pretty that's the draw for the wicked win tournament so hope you enjoy and i hope you're looking forward to the start of this tournament as much as i am and until then this is stranger gamer signing out